Broadnecks. The hare that didn't win the race. Big Poe. The tortoise that won the race. Adam Calhoun. Sucker, man. He's just not a good person. Copycat, always jumping on the bandwagon, star beef, scared to finish. He's just a fucking coward. Ryan Upchurch. The man. The trendsetter, the trailblazer. He cool with me. Morgan Wallen. He the truth, too, man. I, Tennessee boy. I think that was smart. Not dealing with Ryan a little bit. I think it was just smart because business. Sometimes business, he wanted to go in a different way. And he understands that it's more. That's, that's just my opinion. I think both of them talented. But I think Mar Morgan has a higher ceiling because he's willing to deal. He's not willing to alienate or just, just to make people uncomfortable with his actions. He really cares, it seems like. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. I think Jelly Roll forgets where he comes from. I think um, some of the statements he made lately, it just, I don't get it because I remember him as being this rapper and always with the brothers. And I mean, he got gold teeth. And then I see on the other day when they say, you know, who is the next country guy? And he says, struggle. When Ryan, if it wasn't for Ryan, I don't think he would actually be where he is right now. I don't think Tom McDonald would be where he is right now if it wasn't for Ryan. And he says that, you know, Ryan is too rap, but he was too rap. And now all of a sudden, he just this country guy that forgot all about the brothers with his gold teeth having ass. Tom McDonald. Clickbait. He's just like Adam. But I don't think he's as racist as Adam. I think he's a smart, 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 way smarter than Adam. He knows how to keep the bullshit going. He's really, really smart on finding the most sensitive shit that's going on with America and really monetizing it. <laughs> I mean, it's really simple what he's doing, but he's so good at it now, man. He, he really finds it and he's, and his girl, um, Rockwild, I forgot her name, but what if his girlfriend really brings it with the, um, the visuals too, man? They have a really nice thing going on. I don't like the music, but I like the packaging of the product. And for being an independent, I think it's genius. Art of Kicks. Art of Kicks. Cool dude, man. Um, I think, um, I think he's a cool dude. I think he was the only one that kind of called it how he saw it. I don't think he was influenced by it that much. Maybe the views might have made him say cool stuff about Adam. And I think that's what a lot of dude, I think Adam might have paid those guys to say cool stuff about him. Overall, he was a cool one, man. I, I thought he was kind of honest and kind of real with it other than the stuff that he said about Adam, the good stuff, because Adam paid for all of that stuff. <laughs> I really don't like that guy against the shows. <laughs> Simba TV. Fake as hell. I mean, just total. He's the type of person like real niggas like myself really don't like. It's just annoying. And he tries to be, even the way he say nigga, just those type of niggas, they, they need to be let, just push them over there where they need to go, wherever. If that's where they want to be on that side of the fence and really hate their own kind, then you probably should just go ahead and bleach yourself. Uh, Johnny Cashville. Pussy. Country Rap Review. Country Rap Review. That is Uncle Ruckus and Uncle Tom. At the finest. I mean, they, it's ridiculous, man. It's, I, I don't get it. It's a big, big, big try. Like, you know, they can't make it work in the, um, the quote, traditional hip hop. So they think that they could come over here and be the Pied Piper when they don't really know shit, had no success. All oh, one, you know, it was kind of weird, man. It was weird as fuck. Very weird. Weird brothers, man. Y'all need to be ashamed of y'all fucking self. Second chance. That's my nigga. Um, I think everybody in the game was scared of him. 
all all of that country rap shit was really really scared of that brother man he had it they him and him and ryan had the same manager and um man i just saw a different approach for ryan than approach for second chance i remember a couple times we was at shows and he was supposed to go after uh adam was supposed to go after second chance and he made this Big old fucking stink about it and still didn't go on um, after him. But uh, he's just really good, man. Uh, very talented. Should have blew up bigger. But nobody really wanted to accept him because of his skin color, in my opinion. Lil Nas X. It's very trendy. I think country rap wouldn't accept him because he was too many he had too many exes <laughs> like his name he had um he was black and gay and uh one time we were supposed to have a show with him and um i think it was adam and katie was on the show and he didn't want to do it because of adam and after that man he canceled all his shows just because of the blowback he would have got from um doing a show with a person like calhoun Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf. He the man. He really don't fit in with the country rap guys to me. Savannah Dexter. Man, it was horrible. I think Katie could have beat her if she would have if um she would have let me and Guy help her more. Um at, at that point, I don't think Guy was really interested in doing the production at that point, man. It was to the point that he was even looking at me funny, man. He was came at me one time and was like, hey, when is this going to stop? <laughs> and and I understood exactly what he said. And, and I mean, I, I felt bad because I knew he was right. And I had to kind of lean on Katie's side because that's that, that was where the money was. You know, glad I didn't let her riff up the uh, relationships I had with my team. Bravo Gator coward man just like adam he's even more of an opportunist like all that shit was so toughy toughy until you know behind the dms is where that gangster shit go on and they didn't want to play behind the dms you know in the dms is where i was doing my my talking and my walking none of them cats really wanted to play that game you know once it got real cigarette serious like you know nigga shit it just stalled, you know, all that shit kind of was like, hey, we ain't trying to do that, you know, but I wanted to smell them, you know, I wanted to smell a cologne, let's not do the things on the internet with all that, that stuff, I'm not used to that, with all that stuff, you know, I took what he did personal, I think he's blessed, let's say that, he's blessed. Justin Times. Another blessed one, saw him in his eyes, Coward Drake McGuire. Man, that's somebody you kind of feel sorry for. I think he's like an alcoholic, been used by everybody, promised things, and um, it, it serves him right that he got to be the director of the worst country rap song ever and probably one of the worst country rap videos ever. So it, it, it served him right to be a part of that bullshit. KD Noel's mom. You know, you don't want to say bad stuff about people, especially people who want to be good. I can't say everything about her is bad, but I can't. Say, I wish I could say everything about her was good. I don't know. Out of respect, I probably just leave it like that. Command shift. Thieves. Another opportunist. They're actually getting sued right now for $10 million over um, tampering with artists. Hopefully, you know, I could tell you what we got going on against them. But those, but they, they have a history with tampering with artists. And, uh, you know, usually when people do dirty shit, it comes around to them. So we just taking our time and letting things build. But uh, I, I think they'll be getting a letter from us in pretty soon. Cult Ford. He started something that was cool, and Ryan took it to the next level. Like, um, hip-hop started in the, in the 
East and West Coast made it better, I think hip start, uh, hip hop started with Colt Ford and Ryan made it better. Best belief. Um, somebody that tried to get in the country rap world, but I think him being from Florida and being real, only thing that they thought was cool that they, that, that he liked Donald Trump. He wasn't against him, you know, so. That's the only thing that was working with him is because he hated, well, he liked Trump and, and hated uh, Democrats. Donald Trump. The reason why I think Donald Trump got so much love in country rap because it personified them as a person. Like, we go back to the first question and you uh, asked me, did I ever feel racist towards uh, from the country rap people? And like I say, man, they didn't show it. To you, but you knew it was there. <laughs> so that's the reason why I think they really, really embraced Trump because they naturally was racist, but they didn't really want to um, expose themselves or claim it. But they'll have everything. They might even say, "Hey, I hate niggas, but I love black people on the back of their shirt." So that's that's kind of what Trump kind of does. Like he. It's, it's weird, man. They really, their actions say stuff that's different from coming out of their mouth. Like they'll say, yeah, oh, me and black people, cool. But then you'll see a black person probably run them over with your uh, big truck or something. So that's that's the reason why I think uh, that, that group really, really like uh, Trump because it, it personified them as a group. 